Hey, what is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today's video took me a little bit longer to make, obviously because of the new season in League of Legends, I actually am going for Challenger, therefore I have a little bit less time uh, to play RuneScape. But nonetheless, I do have another episode of uh, RuneScape's Hardest Challenge ready for you. Now, if you're unaware of what this series is all about, there's gonna be a playlist in the description below. You can check it out, but long story short, we try to complete all the collection log items items on our main account, so uh, if that's something that interests you, stay tuned and enjoy the episode. Here we go, another Hespori is defeated, let's see what we get from this one. Yasori Seed and a couple of Cadentines, not bad, let's do a farm run and this one will probably get me a level. Continuing my morning farming routine and we are now 92 farming, which is beautiful. So if you don't know about it, every single day when I wake up, the first thing I do, which is actually, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I just do a farm run because in the past I would never do it. So I make myself a breakfast, I munch on the breakfast and I do a farm run. And it's actually pretty, pretty enjoyable. So um, we're going to be doing this all the way to 99, especially now with Farming Guild. It feels like I just get a level every two days or so. So, really exciting, fast levels, and uh, I should get 99 in no time. Um, I really do hope, though, I get a pet before 99, because I don't want to do post-99 fa farming. But if I, at some point, have to, I will just do farming contracts in the guild. I won't bother with uh, tree runs or whatever. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully, we are now halfway done. But maybe we can get that pet before 99. That's the goal. There we go, we finally got ourselves another piece, uh, Bruma Torch this time. Um, obviously nothing special, but it is a new thing for the collection log. 222 KC without a single Pyromancer piece outside of the warm gloves. Um, but I'll take the Bruma Torch, man. That is uh, definitely an addition to the collection log, so I cannot complain. Now to quickly confirm that, boom, read, bosses, winter Todd, and there it is, Bruma Torch. Beautiful. Alright, I have started to do a little bit of solo winter thought and um, well, I'm not gonna get the level quite here but 5000 points and uh, I'm just gonna end it here because I want to change a couple of things. First things first, I forgot I think to grab a, um, a scarf so I'm taking 13 damage or maybe that is normal and I just don't know about it but I want to have region bracelets for the next time I do this. So uh, I should be able to finish it here, I'm not exactly sure, hopefully. There it is, 92 fire making coming through. And this reward will be really, really good. First off, let's go to the house because I want to obviously change a couple of things around. But this is going to hopefully be my first Pyromancer piece. And uh, no, this is not the first Pyromancer piece. Feels never lucky, man, but a decent amount of money, I guess. Hey, I'll take it, 500k from a little bit of winter thought. Not bad at all. Gonna be smashing things. All right, this, look at this, boom. Mate, not another pair of gloves. Why do I get the gloves? Not again, man. I got the fucking gloves again. I have two gloves, no other pieces in 93 fire making. All right, let's see how much money we made, though. We made, what, 200k? That's a scam, dude. I just got scamazed. 10,000 winter dot points in this supply crate. And once again, no Pyromancer piece. What is going on? I'm nearly 93 fire making. That is not okay. Here we go, the daily Hespori run. Let's see what do we get today. Bottomless bucket, please. We get Adas and Tixid. Not the best, but that's perfectly fine. Let's do the full farm run and then continue with probably Slayer I think I want to do for today. Um, maybe Hunter. I don't know, I'll figure it out. A Bruma Torch number two, still no Pyromancer pieces. It is a new day, we're starting it off with some Hespori. Let's see what we get in this one, bottomless bucket, please, not this time, but a Spirit Seed is very nice actually. Uh, we're gonna complete the farm run and get the level in a moment here, so we're soon to be 93, and I'm all, also only 5k away from a fire making level, so I'll get that in a moment. Uh, but yeah, let's get the farming level. Here it is. Beautiful level 93 farming doesn't unlock anything new, but we are now I think four days away from 94 So not too bad. Not too bad. We're doing these every single morning right now, and uh, It's pretty nice. I'm actually looking forward to do this in the mornings. So it's really it's really nice 
how does this always happen to me? So I come here to just do one winter Todd run, and as soon as the fire making level pops up, I get hit by the snow. So I cannot make a clip. Anyways, 93 fire making out of the way, still zero pyromancer pieces. I mean, I have two torches and I have two gloves, but none of them count towards the pyromancer equipment. Um, however, I'll probably casually get this to 99. I won't do it all in one go, uh, but recently I've just been enjoying doing fire making and doing farm runs really um, mainly between the queue times when I play League. Uh, by the way, um, shameless self-promotion. If you enjoy League of Legends, check out my second channel as well. All right, enough rambling. Uh, I will probably do some Slayer very soon or just continue with fire making. Oh baby, we just got a smoke battle staff, KC122, and if you're unaware what that is all about, um, this is a new item to the collection log and a pretty big one, because with that item, we now only miss pet from completing collection log of this boss, and I currently only have 22 left on this task. And I didn't really expect anything, also this is not the genuine reaction, because I, when I do this boss, it's the only time I play on resizable, and I play on full screen because it consists of a lot of running. But if we take a look at the collection log right here, um, we read it and we find Thermi somewhere here, if I can read through the text of things, where's Thermi, Thermi? Hey, there it is. And look at this, it's beautiful. We have dragon chain body, occult necklace, and smoke battle staffs. These are all from the small, um, small smoke devils, but it still counts. And uh, there it is, man. And only pet smoke devil left. That is beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Um, I'm gonna finish my 22 more kills and then we're gonna price check all the loot from this task. Uh, but just to show you how I do uh, one kill at a time. So I teleport to my home, I have my prayers up all the time, I teleport then to BKP, and then from here on I just run to the Thermi and I spec it out and uh, then I repeat the whole process. So you run north here, you run north right, you go into the smoky cave, uh, and here you can see why playing on resizable would be better, right? I only click once, if I play on fixed like that, I have to click like 10 times to get to the place, but usually I just like to chill when I do this boss, I have it on the full screen, I just click five times and I kill the boss. Um, but then you use this crevice, and uh, you go for a spec. And then you switch to your whip or whatever you're using and you finish it off. If you take in too much damage, you then drink a prayer potion and redemption keeps you alive. And uh, yeah, we're gonna finish 22 more kills. I'm super, super happy. I die way too often doing this boss. Quite often I'm editing on the side or watching series or something and I just don't notice that, that I'm about to die. So I die and uh, yeah, whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the first corner drop of the task for rune plate life. What? For rune full helms, I mean. And we're four, uh, four smokes away from uh, the task completion, so... Uh, for some reason, over 150 smoke kills and only one corner drop table, but I'll take it, it's a decent one. There we go, task done. Beautiful, let's see how much money we made. Um, nearly 5 mil, not bad, obviously mostly because of the staff, and we get Hydra's, nice. Um, I don't have a Twisted Bow right now, so I'll obviously ask uh, Michael if he wants to lend me one. If he can, I will do more Slayer, if he can't, I'll do some other skilling, I think. Uh, obviously we are still working towards maxing, uh, and this farm making looks very juicy to get it up to 99, to be completely honest, so I might do that until I have the Bowie. Um, but outside of that, I think uh, the fire making is going to be my next 99 and then after that one I might just push smithing because that's super fast. And looking at these things, we're not that far away. When it comes to runecrafting, that's going to be my hardest. I'm doing it on my Ironman right now and god damn I'm burnt. I log in, I do some runecrafting, I log out, dude. I don't like it. And uh, mining, those two are going to be tough. Outside of that, I think I can get everything to 99 very quickly. Um, so yeah, let's see, let's see if I get some fire making levels or something. Alright, so I decided to kill some mole because Michael did end up lending me a twisted bow, so I bought some amethyst arrows and a twisted bow. Now when it comes to amethyst arrows compared to dragon arrows, I prefer using these 
um, for well stuff as mole uh, stuff like mole and I prefer to use the dragon ones for any sorts of bossing activities uh, but let's quickly price check loot from 51 kills um, obviously I just wanted to test this out to see how it will be in the future when I go for the pet and uh, in um, well we made about a mil I guess in uh, what seems to be like a little bit over half an hour, I think. Um, I think we can kill 75 per hour with max efficiency. I might be wrong when it comes to that, but hey, that's a quick little money I got by just testing something out, which is awesome. I do have the Hydra task at the moment, but I'm just not feeling it. The Hydra is very repetitive, and uh, I just wanted to test some other things out. So I'll figure out what I want to do next. Uh, the farming run will happen soon as well. So uh, maybe a farm making level? Let's see. It is new morning, so that means new has pori. And what do we get from this one? Five pineapples, nothing special. Time to finish the full farm run and then go back to Winter Todd. I am officially pissed. That is the third pair of warm gloves, no other pyromancer pieces. 263 chests, nearly 94 fire making. Look at this, I'm not even trolling. I have Bruma torches and I have warm gloves and that is it. Look, I'll even show you in the collection log. That is actually ridiculous, man. Look at this, Winter Thud, no Pyromancer pieces. Re All right, whatever, man. I'll just get this uh, fire making level one way or another. Oh, finally, there it is, man. That was loot from like 3.5k points. And the first piece, Pyromancer Garb. God damn it, that took me, well, almost 94 fire making for the first piece. Unreal, man. All right, but we got it now, so that's good. That's good. Wait for it. And there it is, 94 fire making. Beautiful, I'm laying back, chilling. So I'm screaming a little bit because I'm not close to the mic, but I'll keep going, man. I like fire making. It's cool. It's chill. And I want to get my full Pyromancer outfit. And for some reason, it's taking too long. So let's just continue. Another morning, another farming level. So if you just see from the farming levels, you can clearly tell that this video is taking a little bit of a time to make. Uh, but either way, 94 farming um and uh, boom and boom so basically once again the reason for that is i'm just very much into league at the moment uh so i just casually play runescape on the side for that week or so um so i'm basically just doing fire making and farm runs every morning uh but nonetheless 94 farming does look pretty good already and we're like four days away i think from 95 so not too bad at all I will be selling a little bit of my bank just so I can afford, um, well, more saplings to keep the farming runs going. As you can see, I only have six left, so that's okay for one more day. Um, and in this, uh, well, in this tab, I have about 10 mil cash, which should be nice for a couple of more days. So just going to be selling most of the stuff here and then see how much money we end up with. All right, I scraped just about 16 mil. Time to waste it all on the saplings. Well then, with that farming level out of the way, we're now going to conclude the episode. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy it, obviously, um, not as action-packed as I would like it to be. Once again, my reason being uh, League of Legends, currently really addicted to that game, trying to get Challenger in solo queue, um, currently Diamond 1, so I'm struggling a little bit, but trying to get there. You can watch my live streams if you're interested in League, or you can check my second channel. I do upload there quite regularly, and we're nearly 2,000 subs there, so that's pretty sick. So if you want to support me further, I guess subscribing to that channel and watching a couple of the videos would definitely help me out, uh, because the channel is new, I get a couple hundred views per video, and it's, uh, it, it would be motivating, you know, getting a little bit more exposure there as well. But either way, I do appreciate your time, I do appreciate your stay, and, uh, well, once the League of Legends hype chills down a little bit for me, we're gonna go full throttle on this series. Uh, but for now, hopefully you enjoyed what I had in store for you. I'll see you again very soon. If not with the video, hopefully with the live stream. I'll see you there and have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.